everyone. Violet and I are back. We are going to read you a story today about a brave little fish named Swimmy and his friends. They have a problem to overcome and we have to see if they will be able to work together to fix their problem. Do you think they will? Yeah? Okay, well, let's find out. My story is called Swimmy and it is by Leo Leoni. He is an award-winning author and illustrator. And today's story is about a little fish. A happy school of little fish lived in the corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. There he is. I see him. Mm -hmm. I see one bad day, a tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. There's that scary tuna. But Swimmy is the bravest and the fastest. Mm. I couldn't swim so fast. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea was full of wonderful creatures. And as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a medusa made of rainbow jelly. That's actually a... It's a giant jellyfish, huh? Yeah, yeah medusa. A lobster who walked about like a water moving machine. Lobster. Mm -hmm. Strange fish. Pulled by an invisible thread. They're a lot bigger than Swimmy. But he still wasn't afraid. Yeah. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. Those are actually weeds. They're what? They're actually weeds. Weeds growing in, is it seaweed? Yeah. Oh. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. There's that eel. And sea anemones who look like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like his own. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. You can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. Hmm. Swimmy brought experience. He knew that they can't just sit this or stay in one place. Swimmy thought and thought and thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to go swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. They're starting to take shape. What shape are they starting to look like? A fish. <laughs> And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, Swimmy said, I'll be the eye. Why, why did he decide to be the eye? Because it's black. Because he's all black, yeah. He stands out, doesn't he? Yeah. There he is. And so they swam in the cool morning water in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. The end. So there you have it, boys and girls. You can overcome any problem with teamwork, just like our character Swimmy did, huh? So I'm excited to see your project ideas for the week. Um, don't forget that you are creating a um, community event. You are thinking of how you could work together to create a project and um, show me your pictures. I'm excited to see them. See you soon.